question about ghosts being real or not has been in the minds and mouths of men and women for a very long time. Just like that infamous question if there's life after death or not. Well, sometimes it is all about seeing to believe. And you're about to see some incredible footage that makes you seriously doubt what you think you know. Before we begin, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified every day of more amazing content. With this being said, let's begin. 5. High School Riot Ghosts Caught on Camera Can you take a ghost into detention? What do you mean no? What do we do with this rebel teenager apparition? Well, that might very well be the dialogue between the Deer Park CBS authorities. According to authorities of this Catholic church that's located in Cork, Ireland, this video is completely framed and the school is, by no means, haunted. Although one should credit their wisdom and could think that the teachers and headmasters are right, the evidence shown in these images is quite intense and doesn't seem like it's a fake video at all. The tape was recorded with the night surveillance cameras in the school. They are scattered around to catch any felons or prank makers who might intend to steal or break their property. But what if someone could stay inside to tamper with everything around while being completely alone? Well, in this video, the ghost movements are very simple and not really vandalism. The moment in which the door closes at the end of the hall seems to be more of an intimidating measure than a teenager vandal angry movement. After that, the lockers start moving back and forth as if someone was trying to make them fall to the ground and go from a stepping to a laying position, but they happen to stay in place. After the lockers from that row are safe, the ghost decided that some of the residents should have their papers thrown to the ground, and that's exactly what it does. Open the door and let them fly to fall straight into the corridor's pristine floor. The scattered papers remain there while the apparition prepares the next move, and a moment of terror lasts some seconds. Finally, the teenager angry ghost throws the wet floor sign, and the video comes to an end. The quality of the video is astonishingly real, and has managed to raise a lot of controversy around what happens. Deer Park CBS It is the oldest school in town, and has made a fame since of being old and haunted since so many students attended it. Skeptical and believers alike doubt the scenes, and the movements are real, but from this perspective, it really looks scary. Would you dare to go to a school at night with no lights on? Corridors have never been so creepy before. 4. Ghost Stalkers Receive a Paranormal Response This show takes on the ghost issues the other way around. They just decided to take the lead and make the move to search for the paranormal activity and literally stalk on ghosts. In the case of the video above, they were fortunate enough, or not, to have a real otherworldly creature respond to their callings and catch it on tape. Will this be enough evidence for those who still believe there are no ghosts watching us silently from the other side? This situation is given in the closed down Holmesburg prison, a famous place for having cases of biological and medical testing being done on inmates without the needed legal authorization. It was also one of the prisons in the country with the highest number of raped inmates in the history of the US. It was open from the 1800s and remained that way until 1995. Both program hosts had near-death experiences and claimed that made them closer to the open portals around the world that lead to the other reality, the one where spirits inhabit. The incredible thing about the video is just how frightened Chad Lindbergh is when he hears the inmate's voice as a response. The paranormal portals face the host with their own demons, and they really believe there's another dimension. For Chad, everything started in 1983 when he almost got killed and was rescued in the hospital. For his co-host and author John Tenney, the portals opened for him after being declared officially dead 1988. The team is completed by the third hunter, that's the one in charge of creating the new state-of-the-art equipment that will help the co-host find the ghost and capture their activity. The series airs through Destination America and shows the boldness these guys have to get inside a closed prison where so many atrocities were committed. Picture it for a minute, a completely closed doors environment full of empty cells in the dark where these fellows call for the appearance of old time felons who might have been severely abused and killed. It's so brave that it is crazy. Chad's reaction is by no means exaggerated. The screaming and the standing up is completely expected in such a situation. The question remains if the series tampered the footage and the sounds are added afterwards. If that is the case, then Chad is a very good actor because the expression on his face is completely natural and seems real. He incorporates and starts aiming all over with his lantern, trying to catch the source of the voice with absolutely no good results. 